the first part of the World Soul Saga, and your tenth expansion is called World of Warcraft, The War Within. In this chapter, you will be descending into the heart of Azeroth itself, exploring new subterranean kingdoms and engaging with ancient cultures like the Earthen and the terrifying Nerubians of Ashkahet. <laughs> but as the forces of darkness close in, around our precious world soul. You, yeah, that's you, <laughs> will be called to do what you always do, which is dispense indiscriminate justice upon all those who got it coming. Talk to me, BlitzCon. The second part of the World Soul Saga is called World of Warcraft Midnight. In this chapter, you will be returning, ready, to the old world. To the fabled lands of Quel Thalas. There, the forces of the Void have invaded Azeroth, intent on snuffing out the light of the Sunwell and plunging the world into darkness and fear. You will not only help reunify the scattered elven tribes of Azeroth, but you will make your stand with the forces of the light and banish the shadow forever. Of course, BlizzCon, it is Azeroth. Things may not go to plan. <laughs> Things may just spiral wildly out of control, leading us to the third part of the World Soul Saga. World of Warcraft, the last titan. In this chapter, you will again be returning to the Old World, this time to the wintry lands of Northrend. <laughs> and there, at Ulduar, you will bear witness to the return of the Titans to Azeroth. <laughs> and there, you will uncover a vast conspiracy one that stretches throughout the history of the world, one that will challenge everything you think you know about the Titans, their intentions, and the true nature of Azeroth itself. In time, my friend, in time. <laughs> and it's called Silithus. There you go. BlizzCon, my hope, our dear hope, is that you can see when it comes to WoW storytelling, we ain't screwing around. Right. We are playing for all the marbles. We are working to establish a thundering heartbeat for this franchise. Now. <laughs> Now, now, Blizzcon. <laughs> Hearken to me. <laughs> Always wanted to say that. <laughs> Thank you. Whether you are a current player, and I'm gonna bet that most of you are, <laughs> or maybe you jumped off the WoW train a few expansions ago, now is the time to come home. Now is the time to pull on your boots, 
pick up your broadsword or your favorite glowy staff and get in this fight. Friends, Azeroth needs her defenders now more than ever. Now, in a few moments, we are going to give you a deeper look at the war within. But before we do that, I want to leave you with a little something to chew on. I want to remind you all that sometimes very epic things can begin with small, heartfelt moments. What you're about to see is one of those moments. And with that, BlizzCon. Proud defenders of Azeroth! Let the World Soul Saga begin! You're here to tell me we don't get to hide. Is that it? You needed time. We stayed away. But time by itself heals nothing. You didn't just come here for me. It's the visions. You've seen them. I suspect many have lately. Something, someone, is calling out from the heart of the world. Like a voice from a dream. <laughs> Something dark is coming, Anduin. The world needs your light again. My son. I am not that person anymore! I have no light. Not after what I've seen. Not after what I've done. You are not your past, Anduin. I trust you. getting worse. Look. 
Whatever's coming, I'll stand with you. Of course I will. But we were drawn here by the voice. Who is it, Thrall? Who's calling out to us? I'm not sure yet. But that sword was aimed at someone.